In this video, I want to show you how to fix the problem you might have when you're sharing your screen in Microsoft Teams, you're using Windows 10, and you want to play audio or video, but there's no volume or it's very, very low, almost nobody can hear it. Why does it happen? It happens because in Windows 10, there is a default setting that reduces all system sounds by 80% when you're communicating. Now the setting talks about communicating through the telephone, but it actually affects audio and video as well. So that's why nobody can hear it because Windows is actually reducing it by 80%. So how do you fix it? Start by clicking on the Windows icon in the lower left of your screen and then click on the settings icon to open up the settings app. In the settings app, click on the system group and then click on the sound group in the list on the left and click on sound control panel. What this does is it gets us to the dialog box that we need to change in order to fix the problem. This is the sound dialog box and we click on the communications tab at the top and then we click on the do nothing radio button. If you take a look at what this says, the default there is the second radio button that says reduce the volume of all other sounds by 80%. By setting it to do nothing, the sound that comes out of your computer is full sound that goes to Microsoft Teams. Then you can click the OK button and close the settings app. The challenge comes that when you share your screen in Microsoft Teams, now at least everybody's going to hear all the sound, which is great. Of course, you got to make sure that you click that button to share your system audio when you share your screen. But that means all system sounds are shared including all of those bings and other notification sounds that Windows makes when you get a new email or something like that. So how do you turn those off so that those don't annoy everybody else on the call? Well, what you do is you click on the notification icon in the lower right corner of the screen, and that opens up the notification pane. If your notification pane is collapsed, just click on the expand item so we see all of the particular items in the notification pane and what you want to do is click on the focused assist icon until it says alarms only. Now, every time you click on it, it cycles through this list of different options. So click on it until it says alarms only. That means that all of the other notification sounds won't be heard. And then you can just press the escape key to exit the notification pane. So that's how you fix the problem in Windows 10 when you're sharing your screen in Microsoft Teams, but nobody can hear the audio because it's set to be low or no volume. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.